Uh, hello there again, subscribers. So let's continue off where we left off last time. I, uh, I just kind of off screen just ran up here. And Don's going to show me how to catch a wild Pokemon. So, all you noobs out there, this is how you catch a wild Pokemon. So a wild Bidoof will appear at level 2, and it will be a female. You'll send out your Chimchar, who just happens to be a male, level 5. And you're going to use Scratch a few times. And, uh, that's, uh, it's going to weaken him perfectly down to about half. And then you're going to throw a Pokeball. And just for some magical reason, I don't think I've ever seen any of these people miss when they threw their first Pokeball. And trust me, you are going to miss when you throw your first Pokeball on anything other than a Bidoof. <laughs> just to warn you, they don't really teach you how to catch tough Pokemon to catch. Like, they don't show you that you can put them to sleep and stuff to make the catching easier. And they don't tell you that stuff. you got to figure that out by yourself. But that's what I always liked about, uh, about, like, you know the Pokemon games, they never tell you what to do, they give you like the basics and you have to figure it all out by yourself. Like EV training, I don't know how the hell they figured that out. I can't imagine some kid sitting down there and just like mapping out the idea of EV training. And I don't even know if the creators of the game really meant to put it there or if that was just like, you know, oh we, we made EV training? I, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> oh crap, I just bought Pokeballs, you're telling me you're gonna give them to me for free? You suck, Don. Like, literally. Pissing me off. Just get out of here, no one likes you. Okay. And we go in the grass. And wild battle. And. Ugh. Annoying, bro. No one likes wild battles, Bidoof. Okay, get over. Sorry, my mouse is getting in your way. Alright. So. I do not want a Bidoof on my team. I don't know if you guys want me to have a Bidoof on my team, but I am not going to have a Bidoof on my team. I will need an a HM slave, though, eventually, so... I may use Bidoof for that, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna actually, uh, capture Bidoof here. Yes, we KO'd the Bidoof! Alright. And we got some whopping 24 experience for it. Crap. Alright, I don't want to battle you unless I've healed up. Hold on. Eh? Eh? There we go. That's the bag. There's my medicine. We're gonna use a potion. Yeah! Look at that. Look at that. Our first trainer battle. Besides our rival. Because our rival is just mad annoying. No one likes him. Alright, and uh, we talked about our eyes meeting, and I'm pretty sure this kid's a little fag. But he has a Starly at level 5. So this will be the first true test of our Piplup's power. Can we defeat a Starly at level 5? And Piplup strikes first with a pound. And he's countered by a tackle. I should do that announcing like the, uh, the guy in the Pokemon anime does. And Piplup uses Horn Attack! Oh my god, this sucks. And now he's trying to- oh my god, I'm sorry guys. Random thing pops up. I'm gonna really try and lower my stats. Cause I already had one Star War, I don't need another one. Like really? Not now. Yeah, and if you guys have any suggestions for guys I should have on my team, Give them to me now, because I'm going to start randomly adding guys to my team, like, every episode. And, uh... If you guys give me requests, I can pretty much get any Pokemon in this game. Bar Ubers, which I don't feel like. And I don't want to use them. I don't want to be cheap. But you can give me any kind of just cool pokes that you think I should use in here. And I'll poke a Savim or whatever, and I'll put them in my game. At level 5 or whatever. It'll be a sweet deal. I have a nice team going. And she says, I spy with my little eye, a trainer. And, uh, I'm a little creeped out. So last Natalie sends out her Bidoof. And I'm like, oh no, you sent out a Bidoof. So original. 
but Atlantis is going to go for Bubble. <sighs> I guess it does more than Pound. Aw, oh, Bidoof got a critical hit on us. That's not even cool. I need to... I might actually have to heal in order to win this battle. That would be an embarrassment. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, got some nice experience there. Atlantis is ready to go. All right, hold up real quick. I gotta, I gotta use these controls. These are kind of weird for this emulator. Unfortunately, we can't buy repels yet. I think that, that must be at uh, Jubilife. But as soon as I can buy repels, we're gonna try and avoid as many wild battles as possible. And I'll catch Pokemon on screen with you guys, but I'm not going to train all the time. Off screen. I might get rare candies or something if I get lazy. I don't want to, but... I just might not have time to train a whole team up. We'll see. Hopefully it's not a big deal and I'll just... You know, just grind a little bit off screen. And Atlantic gets 16 experience points, which is nothing at all. Oh my god, wild battle again. Oh, it's a Shinx. Ah, see, I don't want a Shinx on my team. I definitely, it's a cool Pokemon and all, but I just, I don't see it being a part of my team. I don't know. I had a Shinx in another game, and it was pretty useful. But after a certain point, they just kind of get annoying. I don't know. Like I said, you guys request what I should have on my team, and I'll put it on. I like to uh, get you guys a little bit involved <clears throat> with my uh, LP here. Because I really went into this thing not having any idea what kind of team I want, or anything like that. And uh, I'm just keeping an eye on the time. I think we'll get through all these trainers by the end of this video. <laughs> And then I'll end it, and we'll continue off in Jubilife City next time. Sounds good to me. And look, we fight a Burmy. Burmy is an awesome Pokemon, just because it can evolve into a Wormadam S. And that's like my favorite NU poke right now. Bubble, go! So, for some reason, my emulator decides that now it's not going to lag anymore. So, I'm going to keep the sound as long as it doesn't lag. If it ever starts lagging or anything, I'm just going to shut it off randomly. So, don't ask where the sound is certain videos, because it's going to randomly be shut off, because it gets annoying. Alright. Is this good trainer? No. Kid's just sitting there. And we are in the magnificent... Magnificent city of Jubilife. And Dawn comes up to us and she's like, Hi kids, who are you catching Pokemon? Um and I didn't catch any Pokemon. So Oh my god. So now she's gonna take me to the trainer school. Which is around here somewhere. And that just happens to be where our, our uh Oh my god. It's a secret agent. He just pulled a Usain Bolt. Across the street. <laughs> Mysterious man. How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the International Police? Uh, she didn't. She just asked why you're walking back and forth across the street like a crazy person. Yeah. So he goes from being a mysterious man to being a shady man. That's Nintendo, lo Nintendo logic for you. Looker, don't be a thief. Familiar to you? Yes, that is correct. Taking up long to others is wrong. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get pissed off and I'm gonna try and get this done. So yeah, I think I'm gonna upload this and I might do one more episode tonight. Or I might just wait till tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I don't feel like playing anymore. Oh, it gives you the verse recorder. That's pretty chill. Now I can do Wi-Fi battles and record them for you, even though I'm not. It's not the point. Okay, so as soon as he's done talking, I will end this video. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
And if any of you guys actually answers that question about uh, the Charlie Brown thing from a couple episodes ago, that would be fr freaking awesome. Because my stepdad asked me that today and had no idea the answer. Even though I I've seen Charlie Brown dozens of times. Okay. Here it is, the trainer school. The name says it all. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so she heads off, and I think it's time for me to head off, too. I'm tired. I have more soccer games tomorrow, and I think you guys need to get off YouTube, go sit down, and watch some television. So thank you for your time. I like you guys a lot. Thank you for watching my videos, rate, comment, sub, do the rest, answer my questions, and thank you for being a good viewer. Alright, see you guys next time.